We're building our title race 11 this morning. We're asking for your help. 03717 Van Dyke or Saliba? What do you think? Rice or Rodri? Ooh. Or is there room for both of them? Give us a call or send us a voice note with your title race 11. So, I mean, let's look at ours, Ali, shall right, we? Here we um, go. Okay, we'll start, let's start with goalkeepers. Who have you got? Uh, I'm going for Ramsdale. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I'm at the wind up. I'm at the wind up. Okay, I just thought I'd give him the goal. I'm going for Alisson. Um, are you? Yes, I am. I'm going for Edison. I think Alisson's made a few errors this season. Um, I think Edison's better with his feet. I think Alisson's a slightly better shortstopper. You know what? We should include Villa really in the title race. We're only eight points off the top. In which case, I would definitely Martinez. be putting Emmy Martinez yeah. in there. Um, yeah. I would make a case. No, I'm, I'm sticking with Alisson. I think mm. I, I don't think I've ever seen a goalkeeper in the planet as good with his feet as your man at City. Right? I've got to say his distribution is is unbelievable. But I'm kind of old-fashioned in the respect I like my goalkeeper to save balls and things like that. You know what I mean? I think Alisson's just got the edge. OK. But Edison doesn't have many to save, to be true. That's what true. about your back four, then? Right. Now, uh, this, uh, th- this is not up for debate. Kyle Walker has to start, right? I underst- what, I'm going to debate that. I, I understand the qualities of other full-backs. But I think we- Trent, because of his versatility. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can understand why you're doing it, but Walker has to... I like Trent, particularly in forward areas, but I think Walker gives you that little bit of um, cover at the back. I really do. I think he gives you added security, which I quite like. I think he's a better defender, there's no doubt about it, but Trent can pass the ball like no one else. I think, yeah, I take your point, but I think with this team as well, you know... We won't have to be defending an awful lot, but Kyle Walker, I just think, deserves it and merit. Let, let's go to the other side. What about left back? I'm playing Andy Robertson. Yeah, I'm surprised by that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm playing Andy. I know Andy's had injuries. Um, of course, he has, and people shout that he's not played a lot of games this season, or certainly not as much as he would have liked. But uh, listen, up and down that left hand side, his attitude to play, you know. Yeah, and Adrian, correct to mention, he made a mistake against England. We all make mistakes. Andy Robertson has been fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm playing Andy Robertson as well. I just love his attitude. Yes. It's, it's absolutely His attitude brilliant. to play is as, as good as it gets. Central defenders, plenty of contenders here. Right. Me personally, I think it's Van Dyke and one other. Right. I think yeah, Van, Van Dyke is just about back to his best. Um, I think we saw, you know, in that Carabao Cup final as yeah. well, just what a leader, leader. he is, just what an organiser he is. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the Arsenal boys are in c- immediately as well. We haven't mentioned Ben White. We sh- ben White should have got a mention. Good goal last night, but uh, he's in third place for me in terms of the right back. Terrific player, but I'm, I'm definitely going Kyle Walker again. You know, there's no doubt about it. But my partner alongside uh, Van Dyke, in total contradiction to what I say, right? Uh, this probably won't surprise a lot of people. I always say, or I have said, Arguably the two most important players in the Arsenal side are the two centre backs. Right, I think they are. I don't think they can afford to lose one of them, Gabriel and Saliba, who have been fabulous, fabulous. Mm-hmm. Saliba in particular has been outstanding, but he's not going to get my team. I'm going for Ruben Diaz. Really? Yeah, just because I really, really like Ruben Diaz. Mm. He's another one. I think. Listen, it's one. It's one of these situations. If you played Saliba, you wouldn't have a problem with it. But we're asked to pick a, a, a favourite team in the season so far, and I'm playing Diaz along Van Dijk, well, alongside, I, which I think would be unstoppable. I've gone with Saliba, but you know, I, I was torn between Saliba and a Manchester City central defender. Stones. But, yeah, it was John Stones. Yeah. I think um, Aid put John Stones in, didn't he? He, you did. Know? he did. And, and I'd be very tempted to put John Stones in, but I've gone for Saliba as it's well. It's funny watching it, would you? I mean... John Stones has been given a freedom to play in that Manchester City say which is absolutely ridiculous can't remember what game I'll tell you exactly what game I think it was Copenhagen was there and he ends up in, 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 in open play he's making runs inside the Copenhagen 18 yard box running by midfielders and things like that see he's just got a freedom to go and play which which Pep has, has brought into his side and a lot of teams have brought into their sides now when fullbacks come into the middle of the park to give them that extra man don't have a problem with say like, like Jeff we're, we're not nitpicking picking as such but John's played Stone's played fine if you know if Saliba or even Gabriel played but you've got to pick one and I'm going for Diaz but I don't have a problem you going with Stones morning Peter morning Peter good morning guys morning Ali how morning, are you mate Jeff. 
Very good. On the way to work at the minute, guys. So h- how many Arsenal players would you have in your title 11? 11? Uh, yeah, well, on current form, you've got to put us in the conversation, right? <laughs> uh, well, I'm guessing the ones, the standout ones, you, you're thinking Rice, possibly Odegaard, Saka, yeah? Well, a hundred percent, Rice. That that is probably the best signing of the uh, of the season, and one of the best players of the season, without doubt for me. Um, but Odegaard's got to be in there for the conversation with Saka. He's amazing. I love him. He's the best player in Arsenal. But you've got to appreciate Salah's probably going to win that spot on the left, mm. um, on the right. Sorry. I think you're right. Actually, it's tough, isn't it? I mean, we're talking about Saka being one of the players of the year. He, he, Quite possibly not want to give our team away yet, but you quite possibly might not start. Yeah, but I would have Saka in the side. I mean, you know, I just think he's such an exhilarating young talent. I would, I would have three Arsenal players in mind: Saliba at the back. Um, obviously, Declan Rice goes without saying, and I'd also have Saka in the side. It means you, you, it's going to cost you somebody, and that somebody would be Mo Salah, who I think I'd just Ooh. leave out. <laughs> What do you think? You can't leave Salah out. Well, I, I agree with you, Ali. I don't think you can leave him out. He's um, he's proven uh, week on week. It's just a shame there's two great players in that position for me. But my, my grievance, really, is the fact that we, we get overlooked on the defence. Because I would have Gabriel and Saliba as the partnership, with yeah. a, without a shadow of a doubt. Well, do you know something? I, I've already said, I'm probably well, not for the first time contradict myself, because I, I think Saliba and Gabriel are absolutely vital, um, them staying fit and staying in the, the, the side, because we saw what happened when one of them got injured last year. I just think their importance to Arsenal is immeasurable, really. Time to choose our, our midfields. Then now, what are you going to go for, Ali? Are we going for a three? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for a three. I'll play Rodri Central, De Bruyne on the right. And Rice in the left. Um, and you know something? I, I don't think MD could argue with it. I don't think MD and the planet could argue with that three in the middle at this moment in time. And br- you know what? I'm not going to argue with that well, three I'm because so that's pleased. exactly the three I am so the, that I've gone for as as well. Um, yeah, look, Rice has just had a wonderful season. Rodri being brilliant. You know, the, I did just for one moment... Thought about the, the boy at Liverpool. No, I thought about Endo just being as a hole yeah. in midfield. As, I think it's been terrific since he came to start. Odegaard as Odegaard's well. Odegaard's the one I, I, I'm, I've, you know. And he was I, wonderful last night, but I think for part of the season, you know, he wasn't quite at the levels of, of last season. And De Bruyne, well. Right, he's in. He, yeah. he, he's walking straight in. No one sees yeah. a pass quite like no, him, do I they? I mean, an absolute joy for a goal-scoring forward to play with. Look, we've got a minute. I'm just going to bash straight on. We might come back to this. What about your front three? Um, th- this is where, uh, you know, I'm, th- you're, it's bordering on the gravy dilemma again with you. I mean, how, how you possibly aren't playing Salah is remarkable. I'm playing Salah on the left, a bigger part on the right, Haaland through the middle and Foden is in current form we've already said he might be the best player in the country well Haaland and Foden go without saying so they're both in mind as well I've gone for Saka rather than Salah I just think Salah has been he's been sensational and look the stats there's not much to pick between them this season Salah 15 goals Saka 13 Salah 9 assists Saka 8 assists but I've gone for the Exuberance of youth, you know. Saka has got age on yep. his side, that's true. and that's why I've gone for him above Salah. But I, just think but it, I accept I'm going to get a battering from Liverpool. Fans. I, I, I just think it's that, that there's, I think there's maybe four or five, maybe more, maybe six that are automatic picks out that, those three sides. And it's funny, I've got Salah down as one of them. I think he's an automatic pick on the right hand side. I just think he's been absolutely brilliant from start to finish. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.